That's cool. um, younger people need education. I, I don't view younger people as a market. So to, I remember when Todd was younger people. Mm-hmm. And there was never a lot of people who were interested in playing. So mm-hmm. there's kind of a, a thought sometimes like, well, when you were coming up, people wanted to, no, when I was coming up, nobody was interested in jazz. They were interested in funk and pop music. When Todd, when I first heard him play, he was in high school. Nobody wow. was playing like mm-hmm. him. We were all amazed a kid his age could play like that. And it was rare because he actually sounded like a real actual jazz musician. He was trying to play the music. And it's never, it's not a, po- it's not a kind of music that needs to be verified by its popularity. Its quality is what verifies it. And so I think younger people, we, we, we need that, but we're losing a lot of our young, it's very different now from what it was in the past because now our younger people are more and more divorced from older people, even in their family. And they're victims of a marketing scheme that started in the 1950s and has gained momentum. That exploits their sexuality, that exploits their taste, their undeveloped taste, that exploits everything about them. And it's so it's such a such a pernicious kind of uh, uh bacteria. And it's an infection that has gone unchecked. And at this point, the younger people have been so exploited and abused, it's hard to even that's right. I'm I'm, I'm in such a small number of adults who fought, I fought my entire life against this. And it's been a losing battle, to be honest. So I believe in educating young people, and I believe in trying to make them aspire to be adults, not to exploit their ignorance and their sexuality and using music and all these tools to to, to abuse them. And that's that's what we've we've done for 60 or so years. And in terms of uh, the second question, what I updated and used jazz, I would update it, but it will always be jazz. Like, I wouldn't update it and put hip-hop meat on it or have somebody calling people the N-word and all stuff that's popular. I'm not ever going to do that. I'm going to go to my grave being against that. And I'm, that's the one thing I'm most proud of. It said every commercial is a music video. You see me, it's a commercial, it's a music video, a bunch of people dancing. And, and your phone is feeding you things that you like. So you don't get a chance to experience the things that you don't like, which are part of rounding out your experience and your understanding and your, your political views. You look at one thing. I always like to have my phone feed me stuff that's the opposite of what I think. So it lets me know I'm looking at the right stuff. And I hope that when some kid is researching me 100 years from now, it, it, some university that you've never heard of, and they have to dust off all of this stuff, and say, Dude, I found this one obscure figure that no one has ever heard of, and he was against all of this stuff. He was against this ignorance that everybody loved. I hope that, I, that I'm known for that. Mm-hmm.